I suppose it would get its name because the Marshall S type, of which this is one, was considered almost the Rolls Royce of steam rollers. Very smooth to drive. It goes backwards pretty quickly from going forward, which was an advantage when you were going to the cabin. It's owned now by Ian Burley and family for retreat, and Ian keeps the engine in immaculate condition. Well, the next one is a very well-known engine in Cornwall. It's been in Cornwall for many, many years. It's Ronald Sherman's engine called Gladiator. Built for Anderton and Rowlands in 1909. Works number 3159. It was owned by Anderton and Rowlands up until about 1932 when it went to another fairground proprietor, T. Whiteleg and Sons from Plymouth. And from there, the engine preservation with the Gladiator Club. They kept the engine exhibited with an organ for around a county for several years until in 1985 it got rather burnt down and it was sold to the present owner, Dave Goodwin. And uh, he exhibits this engine at many rallies for and dear, and we're delighted to have it back on home territory today. Thank you. 
this year because uh, yesterday it left the other side of this car and drove the 60 miles down here in one go. And uh, to drive 60 miles on a steam rotor is quite an achievement. So well done to them. Now we're into the smaller engines, the scale model. And one going around first of all, so in the trailer, is the half size McLaren. It's owned by the Tamlins, it's been in there over here for a long time. And it's got a very period type trailer behind it. I've always got to admit that I'm not too au fait, shall we say, with the makes of the miniature engine, so I can't really say we want it, what the next one is. But it's nice to see it going around a very authentic road train. Because at the back of each trailer, it's got the water pipe. That puts this engine's need water to run on, and you can't always get water on the side of the road or the river, so we often have a water pipe behind us so that we have a supply of water. The one behind is Foster. We haven't got any Foster full size engines in the ring today, but we have a couple of engines. Now, the next one, well, I would say four inch maybe, a uh, Merrill Road locomotive, pulling two very authentic trailers. And this is exactly what these engines would be doing when they're full size and in the working day. And those trailers would be loaded up with a load of baby bricks, and they'd be weighing somewhere about 10 tons on each trailer. Now perhaps when they get to a hill, the engine isn't powerful enough to pull the two trailers up the hill. So what they would do would be to drop the trailers so they don't run away, unhitch them, drive the engine to the top of the hill, run over the wire rope, and then they would pull all the engines and pull all the trailers up with the wire rope, at the top of the hill they would pitch them up again and on they would go. Now we have a delightful crane engine, a barren crane engine coming behind, and it shows the versatility of these engines. They can do all sorts of jobs, and if you fit them with a jib in the front, they're able to lift the load. A lot of these crane engines were used in work situations such as boiler works, where they would lift the finished boilers and drive the works. They'd also be used in timber yards so that they could move bolts of timber as well. I was being fired by very well presented Lester, three to four inch scale. And one behind it as well has got an extension chimney. Well, they're using the extension chimney really to improve the draft of the fire so that they can easily keep their steam up. If you have a look on the top of the showman's engine, Gladiator, you'll see that that one has an extension chimney as well, but they're not using it. Well, the reason for that chimney is that when that showman's engine is in the fairground, it doesn't want smoke drifting all over the cloud, so they put the extension chimney on to try and lift the smoke above the fairground. Lovely little engine coming around, probably a two inch uh, scale. But as you can see, he hasn't built the water cart at the moment, so he's got a watering can hanging on the back. Well, we have at least one more engine to come in the ring, um, and the one that I've got. What I'm thinking about, what it's going to do, he's going to do a whole circuit of the ring and then disappear. He's not going to line up in the middle because he will be towing the passenger trailer. And all day long, we've been pulling a trailer around behind the steam engine. People can go have a ride on this trailer. We don't charge anything for it, but if you'd like to give a donation to our chosen charity, the Blood Bites, that would be very welcome.
Let's hear it for Ollie. 